Chapter 11 is about statistics and probability. In this first lesson, we'll learn about permutations and combinations. First, you'll learn what they are, and then you'll learn how to calculate them. And finally, you'll learn how to determine when to use combinations and when to use permutations. So to begin with, let's define permutation. A permutation is an arrangement of items in a particular order. So for example, if you want to uh, if you have five books and you want to put them on a shelf, in how many different orders can you arrange the five books? That would be a permutation. So to calculate this, um, the rule is here on the top. If event M can occur in M ways, and that is followed by event N that can occur in N ways, then event M followed by event N can occur in M N ways. So to give you a more concrete example, suppose you have three pairs of pants. This would be event M. Since there are three pairs of pants, M equals three. Next, we want a shirt. And so a shirt would be event N. And since there are two shirts, then N equals two. So putting on a pair of pants followed by a pair of shirt, uh, followed by a shirt, can give you six outfits because three times two is six. Another example would be uh, license plates. So on the left we have a license plate here from 1912. On the right, this is a Maryland license plate 2004. So in how many how many different license plates are possible or were possible in 1912? Well, it's a four digit digit license plate. And it appears as though all license plates contain numbers only. So since there are 10 digits, if you count 0 through 9, we had 10 choices for the first digit, 10 for the second, 10 for the third, 10 for the fourth. So if you multiply that together, in 1912, there were 10,000 possible license plates in Maryland. In 2004, we have three letters followed by three digits. Since the first three have to be letters, we have 26 letters in the alphabet. So all three of these could be any of the 26 letters of the alphabet. And then we have um, digits from 0 to 9. So if you multiply that all out, in 2004 there were 17,576,000 different license plates possible using three digit, three letters followed by three digits. Another example of permutations might be arranging three items in some particular order. So if we have three items, let's say they're three books, and we want to put them in order, we would have to choose a book to go first. Since there are three books to choose from, we have three choices for the first position. Once that decision has been made, we only have two choices left, so the second position only has two options, and then the third position has one option. So if we multiply three times two times one, we get six. There are six ways to put three items in order. When you do a multiplication where you multiply every digit in order from a number down to one, this is called a factorial and it's written with an exclamation point. So you would pronounce this 3 factorial. So anytime you see the exclamation point, it means start with that number and multiply by everything down to 1. So if we wanted to calculate 4 factorial, we would do 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which would equal 24. Suppose we wanted to arrange 12 people in order. Um, and how many ways could that happen? Well, we have 12 choices for the first person and 11 for the next and then 10, 9, 8. So we would multiply them all together. So we'd have to calculate 12 factorial. Factorial is actually a button on your calculator so you don't have to type that all in. So to calculate 12 factorial, we would type in 12 and then go to the math button. Then you're going to arrow over to probability and choose number four, which is the exclamation point. And just press enter, and we get our answer. 479,600,000.